Alright, so King Kiwi here. Last time I made I got this. I didn't complete it all the way. Ow, it's still hot. But as you can see, I got like kind of a a cool design for it. I'm actually gonna do a little more of that. But you wanna just kinda melt the edges so that it gets nice and warm. So oh on fire so then it won't like cut you as much or it won't be as sharp so as you can see if you see smoke then you may want to stop but I'm kind of smoking it up make it kind of black not no fence there get it kind of a weird effect Burn on outside and the inside. And just heat up heat up the bottom. See there? It's kind of like a weird look. It's smoking. You guys can see it. Basically, you want to just heat up the edges. You can make it black like this if you want. Give it kind of a weird volcano effect. Or not. See, the smoke's kind of coming out. But you can just kind of heat up the edges and make it a little... A little softer and smoother don't don't touch it by the way because it'll just get burnt but yeah you just kind of want to heat it up oh get the edges there so you kind of got oh oh my mom's gonna be like jacob what's that smell it's nothing, Mom. It might be the fireplace. Well, a fireplace doesn't smell like burning glass. Okay. Now that I've got that, I can go put out my candle. And don't take your gloves off if you have them. I mean, there are better ways to do this, but I'm just doing with, like, homemade stuff. And the candle's out. That by the fire extinguisher... Alright, so, you want, so once you have this done, and kind of just let it cool off, and then I will take you guys into my kitchen, wow, oh god that's hot, okay, just gonna, you shouldn't do this, you should wait, but this is just if you want to speed up the process, so, meet you in the kitchen. And as you're cooling it down, I'm holding it with a glove, as you can see. And so then, you just want to go cool the light bulb off. If I can set it up right. If I can set it, I can set it up right. So, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can see. So, basically, we got the light bulb. Now, we're just going to kind of, if you have a white light bulb, this is what you do. You can use salt or water. Water works the best. And I'm just going to put a few drops in it. And that water will just kind of get rid of all that white stuff. So, I'm going to just kind of fill it up. And rinse it out. If you have a clear light bulb, then that that then that'll work. And in future videos, I will be teaching you how to make aquariums. Wait, I'll be teaching you how to make like aquariums and candles out of these. Candles, pretty cool, but do burn. And then, I'm going to put some soap in there. So you want it as clean as possible, because you're going to put life, life forms in there. Ooh, actually, if you have green soap, you can... Ooh, I got an idea. Alright, so... So if you have green soap, it's kind of like a neon green, you can put that in there. Make it like this, kind of, and just swirl it around. 
and you got kind of like a green on the side. Which, I mean, it's cool and all, but I mean, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. Let's just add water. Shake it up. Just rinse it out as well as you can. The cleaner you make it, the easier, easier it'll be for life to grow. And I'll just rinse out all the bubbles. So, if you do water, it will get a really nice effect. I'm going to go wash my hands. But, okay. So, if you do use um, uh, water, it'll turn out fairly good. And, bring it into the light, it'll give you this sweet design. It'll focus. What do you want? Or a wall. It'll kind of give that, like, weird look. But, anyway, once you have this emptied out, you can break off the end. That'll work. I mean, I'm not saying it's not the best, but I mean... Oh, God, it smells like... Whew! It smells like something was burning! You have your glass bowl. Now you need a stand. If you break it, you can just use the stand. And you can break this off. And I recommend doing this on a rag or something. I'm doing this on two paper towels. But there you go. You got something that... It, it stands up, and then you can put a light bulb on it, and it stands. You can angle it however you want. I'm going to angle it like that. Make it a little interesting. And then now, we need to go get some life in it. So when you're going out, you want to take your bulb with you, because this will be, like, the most important thing, because... Oh, the fan, the fan is making weird whirring noises. <laughs> So, hopefully my mom doesn't come in. So you want your light bulb, most important part. And go outside and find some life to put in. Now it's all up to you what kind of life you put in it. But, I recommend moss and dirt. Oh wait. Did I already mess this up? You can put dirt in my last, my previous one. I didn't, I, I recorded it, but I pressed the wrong button. So you can get your bulb and fill it with dirt, then sand, then rocks, and then moss. But I'm just going to do moss immediately. Alright, so I'm going to go get some moss. The sun is just going to be blinding you people. I need my uh, pocket knife to get some moss. And I'm back with my knife. So... You got your bulb and your knife. Now, ow. You're gonna wanna. I don't have anywhere to set this, so I'm just gonna. There you go. And then you're just gonna wanna scoop up some moss. Gonna do. A fair amount. You're just gonna wanna place that in there. You just get the moss, drop it in. But you do want the moss facing upwards. So, now I got like a little tiny terrarium. It's not the best, you probably can't see, but we can fix it. Actually, ooh. So, I'm gonna go get some moss up. Ooh, there we go. I got a nice big chunk. We're gonna put that in here. It'll, will it fit? No, it's too big. So, boom. And 
And you always want to make it a little smaller than the actual bulb. So now I've got my moss. And then now we can add a few little rocks in it. Get a little woodsy feeling to it. And I'll be back. Now I have got a small terrarium. I will show you inside, but I'm going to add some water in it or snow or something. And I recommend not a whole lot. I mean, it depends. For making an aquarium or for making a small little home or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to put a small amount of snow in. Maybe. There we go. Alright. Now we go inside. But first we need my so now the snow will melt, turn into water, and feed. I got some grass in there, but I doubt it'll live. But for now, it's just a little aquarium, or terrarium. So, we got... I'm going to go into my room, where we will set this up. Looks like something's cooking or burning. I don't know which one. But got Alright, so <sighs> still didn't clean up all this mess from last episode, but we've got oh my god, already ten minutes. Jesus. So we got nice grass and then some moss. So I'm going to probably try to clean it up, I guess, or put it down. You guys can't see it, but basically we got a little terrarium. And now I will set this down in the sunlight. I, are, wait. I got an idea. Alright, now that's how you make a miniature terrarium, or terrarium. <laughs>